Alhamdulillah Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala Amma ba Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh And a good morning to fellow followers of Masjid Kampung Siglap We welcome you to another episode of Morning Tea, Talaqi and Tadabur Where we will recite a few verses from the Quran Explaining Talaqi And explaining tab- Tadabur, we will be contemplating and reflect, reflecting upon some of the verses that we have read, insyaAllah. So, hope it has been a very fruitful month of Muharram so far, thus far, insyaAllah. And may we strive on to do good um, throughout this month. As a strong base for us to continue to be good in the forthcoming uh, Islamic months, insha Allah. And let us begin our session with Ummul Kitab Al Fatiha, in the hopes that it will be a fruitful session, insha Allah. And we will start our day right, kick start it on a positive note, and so that we may have a productive day ahead, insha Allah. على هذه النية وكل نوايا صالحة الفاتحة أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين Okay, so insyaAllah for today we will be reciting uh, page 85 of Surah An-Nisa Yes, we will be continuing our recitation of Surah An-Nisa and this session we will recite page 85 and page 85 consists of Verses 38 all the way till 44 of Surah An-Nisa. So if you have your Mus'hafs with you, do open to page 85, Surah An-Nisa. Or you may follow through on, uh, you may follow through the verses displayed on the screen below. Okay, let us begin. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem والذين ينفقون أموالهم رئاء الناس ولا يؤمنون بالله ولا يؤمنون بالله ولا باليوم الآخر ومن يكن الشيطان له قرينا فساء قرينا وماذا عليهم لو آمنوا بالله واليوم الآخر وأنفقوا وأنفقوا مما رزقهم الله وكان الله بهم عليما إن الله لا يظلم مثقال ذروه وإن تك حسنة يضاعفها ويؤتي من لدنه أجرا عظيما 
فكيف إذا جئنا من كل أمة بشهيد وجئنا بك وجئنا بك على هؤلاء شهيدا يومئذ يود الذين كفروا وعصوا الرسول لو تسوى بهم الأرض لو تسوى بهم الأرض ولا يكتمون الله حديثا يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تقربوا الصلاة وأنتم سكارى وأنتم سكارى حتى تعلموا ما تقولون ولا جنبا إلا عابلي سبيل حتى تغتسلوا وإن كنتم مرضى أو على سفر أو جاء أحد منكم من الغائط أو جاء أحد منكم من الغائط أو لامستم النساء فلم تجدوا ما فتيمموا صعيدا طيبا فامسحوا بوجوهكم وأيديكم إن الله كان عفوا غفورا ألم تر إلى الذين أوتوا نصيبا من الكتاب يشترون الضلالة ويريدون أن تضلوا السبيل صدق الله العظيم الحمد لله We have just finished reciting page 85 from Surah Al-Nisa and amongst the verses that we can contemplate upon is verse 41 eh, sorry is verse 40 where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions inna allaha la yadlimu mithqala zarwa where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not um, wrong anyone as much as the weight of a speck of dust uh, whatever you do as tiny as a speck of dust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take that into account alright wa in taku hasanatan yudha'ifha and if it is a good deed and if you do good the deed will be multiplied Uh, any good deed will be multiplied on your weighing scale on the day of judgment وَيُؤْتِ مِنْ لَدُنْهُ أَجْرًا أَظِيمًا and gives a tremendous reward from himself to the person who does the good deed uh, so this verse gives us an incentive okay, to do good whenever we do good We will, our reward will be multiplied by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and no matter how small the deed is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does, uh, does take into account every deed that we do even if it is very small as small as a speck of dust and actually this verse is a continuation is a, a, a cumulative verse from uh, the verses before it okay 
where Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala mentions in verse um, 36, in fact, from the previous page that we read. You can follow through uh, on previous episode. Okay, in the previous episode, uh, yesterday we read this page, and this verse, verse 36, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala gives a guidance to the believers, to us, to wa'bulu Allah to worship Allah wala tushriku bihi shay'a and do not um, worship other than him okay to worship Allah and only Allah wa bil walidayni ihsana wa bi dhil qurba wal yatama wal masakin wal jari dhil qurba ila akhir al ayah and also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions not only to maintain our ties uh, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by worshipping him and only him but also to maintain our ties with human beings okay to do to be blessed to be uh, filled with ihsan okay ihsan towards bil walidain okay towards our uh, parents our mothers our fathers and towards our Dhil qurba, our relatives And then Al-yatama Towards the orphans uh, Al-masakin, the needy Al-jari dhil qurba Wal-jari al-junub Our neighbors who are close And our far neighbors uh, Near or far So we do good to them, ihsan And at the end of it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions Inna Allah la yuhibbu man kana Mukhtalan fakhura And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like those who are arrogant and boastful. Uh, then, uh, in explaining those who are arrogant and boastful, comes the first verse that we read today, which is verse 38. Uh, وَالَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ أَمْوَالَهُمْ رِآءَ النَّاسِ وَلَا يُؤْمِنُونَ بِاللَّهِ وَلَا بِالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ This is amongst those who are arrogant and boastful. Okay, when they infuck, when they give um, to charity or to those in need, they will do it with the intention الناس, to show off their wealth. Uh, not because they want to genuinely help, but because they want to show, oh, I am rich, I have a lot of wealth, so I want to give my wealth. Uh, so that is their intention. And then... Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala continues in the following verse wa madha alayhim law amanu billahi wal yawmil akhir wa anfaqu mimma razaqahum Allah and actually uh, what is uh, what is the harm of actually believing in Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala believing in the hereafter in a sense that with that belief With the belief that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees your every deed, knows your every intention, and that on the day of judgment you will be held accountable for it. Okay? What harm is there to just infuck, to just give for the sake of wanting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's pleasure and not showing off? Uh, and then Allah ends with the verse that I mentioned. Uh, earlier which is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not um, deviate from his attention any deed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows every deed and if it is good it will be multiplied and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises a bountiful reward for those who do good uh, so in our efforts to do good we should also abstain from um, doing bad deeds lah in a sense okay when we do good we should stay as far away as possible from doing bad deeds uh, and to end this session there's an excerpt okay from a hadith where the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned Uh, Al-Hasanat 
yudhibna sayyiat when you do good um, it will in a sense be a kafara for your past bad deeds that you did uh, so continue fellow jemaah let us continue to strive to do good and be good people ourselves and stay as far away as possible from bad deeds uh, insyaAllah amin ya rabbal alamin we suffice with that reflection thank you all for tuning in to this episode of morning tea talaqi and tadabur if you find this um, session beneficial do like uh, this video and share it to everyone to your mutual friends so that they may benefit also and we genuinely appreciate your kind support for the most okay through viewing our videos online you may continue to see the list of videos that we offer every day okay the kulias that we offer and also we would appreciate your kind support to donate to the most okay so that we may continue to run the programs as they are you may donate through the numbers shown on the screen below through pay now through fund transfer and also through the mosque website okay thank you all once again for your kind attention hope to see you in forthcoming sessions wabillahi taufiq wal hidayah wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh